Hi everyone. I'm back with the this is Val Dragonfly Crystals back with a, another Ascended Master message. And I'm so happy to give you two messages from Ascended Master Babaji, um, who is absolutely one of my personal favorites. And this message, for some reason I held on to it. <laughs> But it was from February 5th of this year. And uh, I'll begin probably because it was pretty short. So I put this together with another one I recently got um, from him. And he starts, It is I, Babaji. It is true that I am still in embodiment on earth. However, I am ascended. And it is my choice and promise to maintain my embodiment for this earth timing. I am anchoring the energies of the cosmic heart of divine source into third density and everyone upon the planet. You may know me as Paramahansa Yogananda's teacher, but I am a teacher to all on the planet, not just to adepts, but also beginners. From my humble beginnings, I have aspired to deliver the energies of truth and create the space for this in, man, in the hearts of mankind. I am calling you all to join me in this great task because now more than ever, the world needs spiritual teachers who guide by example, not just by word. For it is in the action that truth can be taught and absorbed into the embodiment. I have had an enjoyable time working with the beautiful energies of mankind. As you are a magnificent version of what can us, we can aspire or one can aspire to while in third dimension. The ability to work with the higher frequencies brings untold gifts such as I have. It is true that I can appear in multiple places at once and that I can disappear and appear in front of you. These are gifts of an adept who has power and control of the third density physical world. This is a byproduct of the development of my gifts. So you too may become an adept and on to claim mastership over your third density body while in the physical world. I have much love for my students. My love is unconditional and I may, and I ask only that you love yourself as much as I love you, for this is my greatest wish for you, that you see the divine source within you and that awareness brings deep love and appreciation for oneself. Thus, and finally, going out into the world and bringing a mirror of wholeness to others that will respond, and who, for others, who will respond with their own self-nurturing. The core of love is filled within, and the gifts overflow begging to be shared with the world and share we must because an inner fire is lit within that burns away the dross leaving you to see your true self that you will mirror to in others that you will mirror to others <laughs> my husband's making a sandwich in the kitchen throwing me off <laughs> let me read that again uh and share we must because an inner fire is lit within within that burns away the dross and the dross is you know those things we need to release the stuff i meant to put something in there about that it is that you know just stuff you need to get rid of leaving you to see your true self that you will mirror to others you will go out into the world creating connections of peace and love with all. In the name of the oneness, divine source, I am Babaji, 
I love you deeply, beloveds. End of transmission. And I pulled the Ace of Cups for that uh, transmission. And the key word is the gift of love. So that was really beautiful. And a few days ago, I got another channeling. I'm just going to stop and say hi to everyone. Uh, hi, Just Free. Thank you for coming, Lori and Warrior Girl. Um, <laughs> yeah, my hubby, he's still in there making noise. <laughs> anyway, so my office just happens to be off the family room. And of course, on the other side of that is the kitchen. <laughs> so what can you do? People have to eat. <laughs> so let me read this beautiful message from Babaji. <clears throat> this was just a few days ago. Begin transmission. Yes, beloveds, for I do have a message. Stay in the oneness that is peace and love. Radiate that light and love out to all daily. That is your church, that, your temple, your benediction for mankind. So I'll read that again because I was a little thrown by it. He said, that is your church. Well, let me start over because it really, the, the rest is, should go before that. Uh, stay in the oneness that is peace and love. Radiate that light and love out to all daily. That is your church, your temple, your benediction for mankind. So I had to look at that. I mean, what does church really mean? And the Greek meaning of church is wherever you go, you are calling out with your light and you are the called out ones. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you're shining your light out. Benediction. What does benediction mean? The invocation of bestowing a blessing. You're bestowing a blessing upon mankind every day with your light and your energy. And you are the church going out. <laughs> so he's saying, stay in the oneness that is peace and love. Radiate that light and love out to all daily. That is your church. That is your temple. Your benediction for mankind. There's so much in there that you have to unpack. <laughs> okay, so he says, you are a temple of light. Wherever you go, the light shines forth. So he's clarifying it further anyway. Be that beacon to the world, beloveds, for no matter what you may see outwardly in the world, the truth is love is the glue or fluid that keeps everything together and flowing well. This will improve your lives as well as the lives of those whom you reach and touch with your light. There will be a time coming up soon where you will feel activated to serve. And this practice of sending out light, sending out the light in your daily lives will create a resonance with that awakening dream within your hearts. This is an age old seeded idea that was planted in your soul by your creator and will be blossoming soon. And in order to assist its blossoming, it is as simple as tending a rose garden water, prune, that which is no longer needed, and till the soil to keep it loose, allowing more growth and aeration to reach it as you breathe. And this will allow you the same space and nurturing that the creator gives you. This is a trigger to that seed to grow and expand. This is the light of who you are becoming online. It's like when you flip a switch and I think that's what he means about online. When online, you will be a newly in a newly blissful state. Well, this is something that also Maitreya has talked about, the blissful state. We wish you to stay in your heart center 
And even when you are called to speak, you will speak while still connected to the wisdom of your heart center. This is what you will do naturally over time. This is the evolution of mankind. And I have to say, my guides have been telling me the same thing. Practice staying in my heart when I'm like talking to people. And I have to go up here in my intellect, try and keep that connection and do it from the heart, which is not as easy as it sounds. Anyway, so this is what you will do naturally over time. This is the evolution of mankind, beloveds. I am bringing this message to you so that you are aware of what is happening to you as you meditate, do the breath work as my fellow Ascended Master Maitreya mentioned. This will assist you to put your foot on the accelerator. So go for it now, beloveds. He's trying to get all modernized. He says, go for it. And he says, this is important to listen to. It's like an affirmation. You saying it. I am that I am. Divine source is in every cell of my body, mind, spirit on all levels. And so it is. It is done. So say this from the knowing within your heart while you are meditating and anchor it in for it, it already resides within you, beloveds. You are simply acknowledging it. I am Baba G, and I send you the frequencies of divine love and understanding until we speak again, beloveds. Goodbye. And so that's the end of his transmission. And I pulled the two of pentacles. Keywords are change and rebalancing. So change and growth, creating an opportunity to bring a balance between your inner beliefs and your outer reality into harmony. It also represents handling two or more situations at one time successfully. Life can be a juggling act with deadlines, demands, commitments, distractions happening all at once. The key is flexibility balance and having a having fun recreating energy the gift is the talent for rebalancing and integrating life's challenges and opportunities with grace and ease you make that they make that sound easy <laughs> oh hi trish <laughs> uh, taking a break from helping parents oh. <laughs> Well, this is uh, my final transmission for the night. I'm glad you joined me, Trish. And thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, Barbara G is my favorite, 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 because actually he's my teacher. So I, I better say he's my favorite. <laughs> but he came to me, and I can't believe he's you know, willing to be a teacher to me, but he says he's a teacher to all on earth. So all of you can call in Babaji and he'll be your teacher. So he is a teacher to uh, even the beginning students. So as he said, so that was really wonderful and exciting. And um, one of these days, I just had the thought that I would go back through and do one video where I try and capture the main points of all these communications that we've been getting and kind of go over it and try and put it in a synopsis so we can remember because there's so many transmissions. I think I've done like heading toward 35, trying to remember what they all said, even though they're like maybe four minutes, seven minutes long, they're jam packed with things that you don't realize the impact of. Like when you unpack the idea of church and, and, you know, bestowing a benediction. <laughs> anyway, it's just a thought. If you guys think that's a good idea, let me know, you know, in the in the uh, comments after. 
and uh, it's something that I can, you know, work out to try and get the main points together so we can remind ourselves what it is that we're being guided toward. And, you know, all of us need that. And I'm the one doing them. And I don't remember. I was just listening to about 10 of them um, a few days ago. And I go, oh, I didn't remember that. Some good stuff in there. So anyway, thank you all for watching. And um, gee, I really appreciate it. Aw. Thank you, Warrior Girl. You guys give me inspiration and you 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 all help to move me along to keep doing this. And um, yeah, I appreciate you all so much. You have no idea. Um, you guys are great. I love, love, love you all. Um, yeah, Samantha, you're right. The core message seems to always be love because at the end of the day, as people who have passed on and I connect with my mediumship, they say, all there is is love. That is the fabric of the universe. That is divine source. That is who we are at the basic level. It is about that light, that love. So <laughs> you guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. I love you all so much uh, and really appreciate you so so much thank you thank you thank you Mwah. i'll see you guys later bye